Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. It's a hilly area and uh, that's a fall color on one of the roads. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today, I'd like to share uh, Titus 1 verse 2. It says, This truth gives me calm." gives them confidence that they have eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised them before the world began. Here's my poem. Are you dis God never lies. Are you discouraged and going through something? Do not feel condemned about all your sins. Confess and repent, for the Lord never lies. He will grant you mercy and will provide. Believe his truth and you will be set free. Abide in his word for he is faithful to let you see. Have confidence in his promises for he is truth. Then you will eventually harvest his spirit's fruit. Here's my essay. One of the most excru excruciating experience one can have is being betrayed by someone. When a person very close to you go behind your back and stabs you, it is painful. It makes you either fight back or flee from the person. Trust is usually lost and it can be hard to restore it unless there is repentance and forgiveness. Oftentimes, what happens is nobody wants to confront betrayal, which eventually poisons the relationship. The Bible describes to us a God who never lies. His nature is love and truth. And there is no way that he will engage in telling untrue things. He gave us many promises of redemption and victory over sin. But we ought to know his truth in order to have the confidence of living in truth and in his will. Prayer. Lord, give us wisdom to always choose truth rather than be believing in lies. Reflection. How do you protect yourself from the enemy's lies? Our only antidote to the lies of the enemy is to have a closer relationship with the Lord and to abide in Him and know His truth. And when you know His truth and you abide in it, and you abide in His commands, then you will be protected from the tactics that the enemy does to entice people to sin. Um, you will not know the lie if you do not know the truth. So... Um, I've spent over four decades, five decades of my life believing lies because I did not know the truth. But God has set me free and thank I thank the Lord for doing that because now I'm free. I don't have to, to hear the voices that kept repeating and repeating itself in my life to tell me all these lies that I believed for so many years. So when you are able to have a relationship with the Lord and get close to Him and intimately the enemy flee from you. He, he, he doesn't want to, de um, to deal. He would try to um, tempt you, but if you are strong in the Lord and you have the confidence that you know the truth in God's Word, then you will be protected. Thanks for watching. Uh, check my website at ilmaarts.com. For more artworks and photographs, have a blessed day. And remember, God never lies. He loves you so much. And He has given so much. Every, all Everything that he, he treasures much, especially His Son, He gave to save, save you from sin. God bless.